Hey, what's up? It's Nick Giuliano here with Agnes Mo. Hey. Welcome to Providence, Rhode Island, New England. Thank you. So, it's, it's, it's a little cold out here, but, but I'm good. So, <laughs> like I'm prepared. <laughs> I know this is so exciting. We were talking about it before. This is your first stop on the East Coast for yes, Radio Station. So thanks for coming here first. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, just got to do what, what I got to do. So. so Agnes has a new single out with Chris Brown. It's called Overdose. And mm -hmm. let's get right into that. How did that collaboration come about? Um, it, it started really organically. And I think that's what I love about it. Like nothing, it's, it's, you know, it started really about two artists respecting each other's work. And then, um, you know, we played some music to each other, my new music, his new music. And then we did one collaboration for his album first. But then we didn't stop there. We just kind of like, oh, let's just go back to the studio, you know? And then so we ended up spending probably like a month in the studio almost every day and, and, and writing and this and that. And we, at that time, we didn't even think of, oh, let's release this project. Let's release, you know, this single, whatever. And then after that, um, we were like, we sat down and there was a moment of like, yo, you know that we actually have a whole project, right? Like we actually got like 12 songs together. Um, so this is just probably like the the beginning of, of the project. And you can see that you guys really work well together yeah. in the music video for Overdose. Yeah. got 10 million views in yeah. a month. Yeah. And you directed it. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of hands-on activity <laughs> with this song. So talk about the music video. Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm, all about, I'm all about the art. I think all of my fans know this about me. Like I'm... I'm um, I think my art is kind of like a diary. My music's kind of a diary. So whenever I direct something or whenever I write something, it's almost like even in the studio, I can already visualize the video. You know, I can already see, oh, this is how it goes. Oh, we should focus on the emotion on the video or we should do it this and that. And um, when I talked to Chris, um, he was actually the one saying, yo, you direct your, your own music videos. I, I've, I've seen that. I think you should direct this one too. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should. <laughs> so with directing the music video, yeah. you made it into kind of a feature film. How did that idea come about? Um, I mean, I've always been, I mean, I've, I've always been an actress, right? So I, um, I think film and acting, um, story based, um, form of art. I feel like it's, it's something that I'm really, uh, comfortable with you know comfortable doing and with this because I know that Chris can also act you know I can act and there's like a story behind overdose itself um, we just thought okay let's you know let's let's do this let's do something that's not um, just you know that doesn't just focus on the visual effects or how cool the stage is but how real the story can be um, and it just kind of flows after that. I just write uh, my treatments um, And I ended up having like three different treatments with like a lot of detail screw face know about like all my management the producer knows like it just kind of um, Yeah, the creative flow is just Never stops, you know, I think I think the music itself really inspired me and being over here in the States and uh, Trying to get your music out now. Yeah, what's that process been like? How, how has it been? Um, it's been amazing. I feel like um, As long as you have the right uh, Mindset, you know, so the focus is not about getting the fame It's not about getting the money because again like, you know real talk if I only wanted to just focus on my fame or my, my money I won't have to, you know what I mean, like start over in the US. I should just be in Asia, do my tour and I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. But I think sharing my music, because again, my music is, is my art, my music is kind of like a, a diary to me. Um, I feel like I, I wanna share that to a bigger audience, you know, and, and learn from the best. And that's the reason why um, I compiled this huge folder of all the names that I wanted to work with. The mm -hmm. first page was, Timberland's name and then um, I was so you know fortunate I was so blessed to be able to work with him too like a few years ago um, I had one single actually with with Timberland and TI as well called uh, called Cold Bottle 2014 so it's just like really it's, it's been a learning journey mm -hmm. you know and then I think it, it, it really shapes me as an artist as a human being as a person um, as a singer you know uh, learning from all those geniuses 
Uh, so yeah, it's, it's been fun, really. One of the things that we noticed here at Hot 106 since we started playing your song yeah. is that you have a rabid fan base. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if we're posting about your song or we're posting right. where we're going to be that night. Yeah. Every, we had about 20, 30, 3,000 comments saying, play Agnes Mo, Chris Brown Overdose. Oh, wow. So your fans, I mean, yeah, follow you on I this mean, they're, they're, they're so amazing. Um, I think the key to that is to really focus on what needs to be focused on, which is the art, you know what I mean? Like some people, they got so caught up with the whole social media. It's all about the hype, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about smokes and mirrors. And I think that's the reason why my fans have been, you know, really rooting for me because they know that I'm authentic. You know what I mean? Like it's all about my music. Um, it's all about the craft. And yeah, they, they grew up with me because I started really young. I started when I was like six years old, I think they grew up watching me and, and there's a sense of uh, belonging. Sure. You know, and, and I, sh I always try to include them in my journey and I think that's what they love the most. So let's talk about that journey that is at this point. You talked about all the songs with Chris, but what yeah. can your fans expect new music-wise? So, so you know what's, what's cool about it is that throughout that journey, I've recorded probably almost, what, like 50 songs? 50 songs, wow. 50, 60 songs uh, before I got to this point. And so the project with Chris um, is done. So we have 10 to 12 songs together. And my album is done as well. So now it's just kind of like, um, you know, where, where the, what the strategy is, you know, with my label, of course, with my management, which song do we put up first? Mm -hmm. Um, is it, you know, the project with Chris or is it my own solo album? But it's all, it's all done. Yeah. Any much. other, anything you want to tell us about that solo album? Um, <laughs> it's, it's coming, wait, it's, hold it's on. Coming. Um, yeah, I mean, it has some features, some amazing features there. Um, but I think personally, I really want my next single to be just me um, instead of me with, you know, another sure. feature. Um, and yeah, I talk about some real shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> always have been talking about real shit. Oh, oh, actually. Is that the name of the album or no? <laughs> like real <laughs> shit? <laughs> no. no, just Gotcha. No. <laughs> um, actually, the other thing that I want to talk about is the fact that I'm now filming my own my own docu series, and we call that I Am. You know, so I am the, the tagline is I am me, my own version of me. I think the um, some of the things that I have to go through as an artist um, from Indonesia trying to make it here is not just about um, trying to break a new market, but also um, some of the paradigms or, or, or perspectives that my existing fans have in Indonesia. You know, coming from a place where it's still, you know, considered a third world country where people there still focus on how to put food on their table. Even um, until right now, I still, you know, I'm still like a victim of, of cyberbullying, really. Like people would say, oh, you're from Indonesia, you're, you're from Asia, like why are you so westernized now? Oh, why, are, why is your music like that? Oh, you're supposed to be more like this. Oh no, you're too thin. Oh, you're too Asian. Oh, you're not Americanized enough. Oh, you're not this. So it's, there's always that battle, mm -hmm. right? And I think um, I'm strong enough to, to not listen to that, but I believe that if I if it happens to me, it probably happens to a lot of other other people too. So that I Am series is one of um, probably like my legacy, you know, that I feel like I want to share that um, And where can people with, see that? Uh, on my YouTube, yeah. But, but now it's like an editing process, so hopefully, um, you know, I can make some noise not just through my music, but also through that.